Hi, I'm Tommy Bow, and I'm here to take you through both the general and specific rules involved in the game of touch. We'll also cover the skills to practice, as well as some tips that should improve your game. So, are you ready to get in touch? Let's go. The game of touch is played on a rectangular field, 70 meters long and 50 meters wide, by two teams of six players. Although it is common to have additional players that can be interchanged as many times as needed. It's handy to have these, as you're sure to need a break to catch your breath. Touch is played over two halves of 20 minutes with a five minute break at half time. The object of the game is to score more tries than the opposition. Each try is worth one point and to score a try the attacking team must advance the ball to the end of the field through a combination of passing and running and then place the ball over the defender's try line. Each team is given six touches to achieve this. A touch occurs when an attacker with the ball comes into contact with a defender. When a touch is made, two things happen. The defending team must retreat 5 metres and the attacking team must play the ball by rolling it between their legs to a teammate who picks up the ball and continues to play. To start the game, a tap kick is taken which occurs simply by tapping the ball with your foot. Then the fun starts. To avoid being touched, attackers can try and run around defenders, or they can pass to their teammates who have more space to move. The ball must be passed backwards, which can take some time getting used to. If the ball is passed forwards, the referee will blow their whistle and possession will change, meaning the opposition team will receive the ball. A change in possession also occurs if a team drops the ball. If a team is touched six times, if they run over the sidelines, if they don't play the ball properly, if the dummy half is touched in possession of the ball, if a player passes the ball after being touched, or if a try is scored. When making a touch, contact must be applied with the least amount of force possible. A defending player usually initiates the touch, but the attacker may initiate the touch as well, in order to force the defender to retreat, giving the attacking team room to play. Sometimes, the attacker may not feel the touch, as the defender may have only made contact with the ball runner's shirt, their hair, or the ball. Since the game of touch is played with honesty and integrity, the ball runner must give the defender the benefit of the doubt and accept the touch. When a player is touched, they must play the ball at the spot where they were touched, known as the mark. If they play the ball in front of the mark, they will be penalised resulting in a change in possession. Often this means a player must retreat back to the mark after being touched. As you improve, you will be able to play the ball on the mark, even when you build up momentum. But for now, just know that the play the ball must occur on the mark, which is the spot where you are touched. The player who picks up the ball after the play the ball is known as the dummy half, and they must not get touched with the ball. If they do, the ball is given to the other team. The dummy half can still run with the ball, but they must pass before being touched. The dummy half is usually anyone who is closest to the play of the ball, meaning the role of the dummy half changes throughout each set of six. If a player passes the ball after they are touched, the referee will blow their whistle and possession will change. Sometimes a player will pass the ball at the same time as being touched, known as a simultaneous touch. On these occasions, the referee will allow play to continue. The two most common passes are the floating pass and the spiral. Both passes involve holding the ball with two hands, with fingers outstretched. Then the ball is brought from one side of the hip to the other, releasing the ball and following through with the wrists. A spiral pass, which is used for distance and accuracy, involves the backhand rolling over the top of the ball. You can practice the spiral action by passing the ball to yourself. To catch the ball, bring your hands out in front with your fingers spread, so that the passer has a target and so your hands are in view. Try not to grab at the ball by receiving it with soft fingers. You can practice with a friend, challenging each other with difficult catches. To make a touch as a defender, try to position yourself in front of the attacker. Avoid planting your feet by keeping on your toes, and keep your hands up so they're in view. Then, extend your hand and make contact. To make a touch as an attacker, initiate the touch by running towards the defender and be decisive as to where you intend to touch, which is often the shoulder or the side of the arm. It is not a push or a shove, and even the slightest of touches count. To evade a defender, you can change pace by slowing down on approach, shortening your stride, then accelerate away. Sidestep by moving to one side of the defender, then, as they follow, move to the other side by planting and driving off the outside leg. 
swerve by angling in towards the defender and then arcing out to accelerate away. To play the ball efficiently, practice rolling the ball between your legs using one hand only. Two hands will slow you up. When you become confident, try doing this while walking and then finally while running. The game of touch is fast, fun and easy to learn. And the best way to learn is to get out there and play. This video should give you enough information to start playing, but the rest is over to you. So, get in touch. For more information or to register yourself or your team, go to irishrugby.ie forward slash touch and get in touch.